Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today we're going to be taking a look at Holly fuel pressure regulators and why I think their designs make absolutely no sense. Today I just wanted to do a very brief video talking about issues I found with the Sniper EFI fuel pressure regulation systems. Now the Sniper EFI comes with a built-in fuel pressure regulator where you send a line up to the engine bay and then a line back from the unit and internally it does fuel pressure regulation, supposedly keeping about 59.5 psi at the unit. I couldn't get it to reliably do this. So I decided to experiment with using one of their integrated fuel pressure regulator filter combos in the trunk and only sending one line to the engine bay, essentially creating a deadhead unit like you'd see in a Corvette. That means you just have really short return lines back to the fuel tank, saves you a lot of heat going up and down your exhaust track or anything like that, but also just saves you a lot of hose. Now, comparing the two side by side, it actually worked really well. I don't know why Holly doesn't offer this as a, just an option and save the money on putting the fuel pressure regulator in the Sniper EFI unit from the beginning. But what I found was both the unit in the engine bay, the actual Sniper EFI unit, as well as this filter combination system that is its own fuel pressure regulator that I put in the trunk, both use the same mechanism for filtration of the returned fuel. Now, I don't know why you would filter return fuel, but this little filter cap, here's a picture of it on a clean one, this is what it looks like from the beginning. Here's what mine looked like after pulling it out. Now, I was trying to diagnose some intermittent bizarre problems, and what it turned out to be was that this cap had been completely covered over in some sort of black particulate that plugged it up entirely so it stopped fuel pressure regulating, sent my fuel pressure to 100 PSI or whatever the maximum was for the fuel pump and just caused all kinds of weird problems. Now, I pulled this apart, cleaned it off, and it seemed to have fixed the problem, but I have two really big concerns here. One, why are we filtering the returning fuel to the fuel tank? And why is that stuff getting stuck there after passing through the Holly Hydromat at the bottom of my fuel tank and this integrated unit? It's not like there's a bunch of hose in here that could have had dirt in it. It's a enclosed unit they shipped to me that had caps on it that I popped off and assembled. So this was either so small it didn't get filtered and they actually have a smaller outlet filter than they do main body filter in the combination unit. Or it was already inside of the filter unit when they shipped it to me, which would be horrible because that means everybody installing these with this contamination would eventually run into this problem. And if they're not running fuel gauges of some kind to monitor pressures, they wouldn't know until they started having catastrophic problems, taking out injectors, blowing hose fittings, damaging their fuel pumps, something along those lines. Now, in taking this apart, I also went and found the parts, and that's why I have this nice clean one to show you. And these parts are only about $20. So if you are having any problems with your fuel pressure regulator from Holly, I would almost suggest the first thing you do is buy a replacement part you will want to have it on hand just in case. The second would be to take it apart, look at this stupid little filter cap and see if it's plugged up in your case. If it is, I don't know where this stuff's coming from that could be causing this problem and yours may be a totally different source, but you may consider just making it a routine maintenance to clean it. In my particular case, what I'm going to do is if this plugs up again, I'm gonna take that cap off because I see no reason to be filtering the return to the fuel tank. Whatever's in the fuel tank is already dirtier than whatever's coming through this second stage of filtration. Just send it back to the fuel tank. And if it plugs up the diaphragm from doing fuel pressure regulation, you're in the same position you were before, except for it'll take a lot longer to plug the large diaphragm than it will the little tiny filter cap. Now, the interesting part I found here was the components used in the integrated filter fuel pressure regulator unit in the trunk are the exact same part number as what was used on the Sniper EFI under the hood. So you will have the exact same problem at either end of the car, regardless of which one you use. I've never had this problem on another fuel pressure regulator, so I have no idea why this is an issue with Holly's design. Hopefully this information is helpful to somebody out there. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video.